Good morning and welcome to the next of our daily videos from Yoker Evangelical Church. Uh, hopefully you did our daily Bible reading this morning. We read from Exodus chapter 38 and from John 17. If you haven't done that yet, why not go pause this video, read those chapters, pray about them and then come back. Um, this morning I'd like to share with you something from John chapter 17 that really encouraged me and that helped me to pray this morning. So if you've got a Bible, it would be great if you could have it open at John chapter 17. And I'd like to read from verse 20. Listen to this. This is Jesus speaking to his disciples just before his arrest. Jesus is about to be betrayed, arrested, put on trial and crucified. And this is what he says to his disciples. John 17 verse 20. Jesus says, my prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, and they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Then the world will know that you sent me, and have loved them even as you have loved me. Well, isn't that amazing to see before us? What is Jesus praying for? Uh, just before his crucifixion, what is Jesus' main concern? He's praying for his disciples. And I find this incredible. What is he praying for them? Well, we might expect Jesus to be praying for his disciples' health and safety. Or, or maybe that they would be wise in the days to come. But Jesus doesn't pray for those things. Jesus' main concern for his disciples is for unity. And he prays for them that they would be united, that they would be together, not separated and arguing, uh, not divided by bickering, but that they would come together. And look, it's amazing. His prayer isn't just that they would put up with each other. His prayer is that they would be united like Jesus is with the Father. Listen to this from verse 21. Jesus says, just as you are in me, he's talking to the Father, and I am in you. Imagine a church where that was true, where people were truly united, as the Son is to the Father. People loved each other. Imagine a church where everybody loved everybody else as much as they possibly could. Can you imagine what it would be like to be in that church? That would be amazing. Um, there would be no fear of judgment when you came to that church. There would be no fear of being left out, of being ignored, of being forgotten. This church would care for everybody, absolutely. Now, we can't do this ourselves. Uh, we can try as hard as we can, but we could never make a church like that ourselves. And I was encouraged this morning to pray for the Spirit's help, to pray for unity in the church, uh, to pray that we would be a church that loves each other as the Father loves the Son. And especially to pray for my own heart, for my own weaknesses in this area. I was challenged this morning to think about ways in which I can love other Christians more, in which I can be a part of the unity of the church. I'm also aware that this is timely, that we need to hear about the unity of the church now more than ever. As most of us now are stuck in the house all the time, we need this wisdom. Uh, there is a danger more than ever now that we will try to be independent Christians that we will think, I've got my Bible, I don't need to help from anybody else. But the warning is there from Jesus that that is not safe, that he has saved us into a community and that we are to love and support one another. And so I was struck this morning just how important it is that we keep phoning each other, uh, that we keep talking, that we keep even writing letters to one another to encourage each other in the love of Jesus. Uh, so why not, after you've finished watching this video, pray about these things for yourself and then phone some other people in the church. Uh, just ask how they're doing, how you can be praying for them. 
Perhaps share something that encouraged you from your quiet time this morning. At this time of isolation, we need each other more than ever. So let's pray about the ways that we can be building each other up. The ways that we can be pointing each other back to Jesus.